Hi everyone, welcome to the Miskatonic Playhouse. I am the backstage manager, John Hedge, and I'm here with Heinrich Moore, the community organizer, the organizer of MRCon, the YouTube host of Heinrich Moore Presents, the author of some really fun scenarios and some really interesting books, and just general all-round hero of the Miskatonic repository to talk about National Novel Writing Month and what we're doing with it. We're going to try and get you one of these a week throughout November. Uh, and it's something that is really close to Heinrich's heart and something he's been doing for many years. So I'm going to sort of just get him chatting a little bit about it. And we're going to start with Heinrich, if you don't mind, me sort of getting you to give me an overview of what you've been doing and why you've been doing it for Nanny Roy Mo over the past few years. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, thank you so much, John, for setting this up. Um, really fun to be here. Um, and I think just a great opportunity for the community to um, get motivated uh, and, and engage and make progress on whatever they may need to make progress on uh, that's MR related. In terms of um, how, how we got here, yeah. Um, for for many years, I sort of watched NaNoWriMo on the sidelines um, because I, I wasn't really writing novels. Um, but once I became involved with the Miskatonic Repository community, it struck me that there was an opportunity here, um, especially because NaNoWriMo is so centered on writing novels. Um, and that's not that's not what we do, right? We write scenarios, but we also produce art. We make maps. You know, we produce handouts. All of these things that are worthy of attention, praise, and motivation. And so, um, this was an idea to encourage folks to use Nanorimo as an excuse to choose their own projects, whatever they may need to make progress on, um, and and get motivated by relying on the community to help kind of encourage them and and provide the same back. Um, so that's sort of how we've how we've gotten here. Um, we have in the past offered kind of personalized uh, services to uh, encourage folks like they can um, email me and ask like, hey, Heinrich, do you mind checking in every few days on my progress, right? Uh, we're using the uh, Miskatonic Playhouse to have a forum where po folks can share their progress, uh, discuss with each other, brainstorm, knock ideas back and forth. So all of this is intended to create a positive environment um, to get people making progress on what they choose to. And I think that really feeds into what the Playhouse has been trying to do as well. So when we set up, our interest was in creating better writers and better scenarios out there and also playing those scenarios and our interest as creators is all in getting better at what we do and environments where you feel motivated environments where you feel like you can get stuff done is really what we're trying to build so we've had about 30 signups on so far which is amazing a really cool number of people who are promising to publish scenarios and these videos are going to just talk about a few of the things and feelings and the realities i guess of going through the process. And this one, we're hoping to focus on getting started. So it's the 4th of November, and I have started on my scenario, and you started on your things. And I've had a really good start. Uh, I got started actually on the 31st. I've written uh, probably about four hours. Uh, I didn't get anything at all, at all done yesterday, but I got quite a lot done on the first and second. So I'm feeling really positive about the experience. Um, but I'm kind of lucky because uh, I run a company. So sometimes I have to work a lot. Sometimes I don't have to work at all. So I'm quite uh, able to mark out those bits of time. But I know a lot of people don't have that opportunity. So what what is a good start and what is a bad start in this case? Maybe we'll start there. What do you think? Oh, boy. Um it's it's very personal and i would encourage folks to move beyond the paradigm of good start bad start um we are very i think failure conscious um and i don't know that that's the healthiest way of approaching um this month right so by comparison my start has been just absolute trash you know i have i have maybe gotten um I, I can probably count it in minutes rather than hours is is how bad it's it's been. And it's just, uh, you know, we we all have uh, work. And in, in my case, uh, I've got some large projects coming up and they are definitely taking up a lot of the mental space that I would like to be using to think about fun things, think about the projects yeah. I've got I've got going. Um, and so, you know, if I 
think of it as, oh, wow, I've had a trash start, which I, I have, um, it, it can make it more difficult to continue to remain motivated and to make progress throughout the rest of the month, right? We we have the sense, perhaps, that if we don't start off at a sprint, you know, if we if we have a leg cramp or something at the beginning of this, this marathon, um, that, well, we might as well stop, right? Like, what is the point in continuing? And that's just not the way it is and why we encourage folks to um, really choose their own projects and, and remain flexible. So the answer is going to depend on, on you. Some folks do very well by thinking, oh, I've done terribly now. I need to catch up. And that motivates them. That's, that's awesome. Um, but you really need to know yourself as to whether or not you are that kind of person or the person who's going to shut down. You know, in, in my yeah. case, um, the way I'm approaching this is, am I able to finish a day and point to something creative I've done in advancement of my projects? And that could be like, hopefully today, working for a few hours because it's the weekend. Um, but during the week, it might just be, did I have one good idea that I could jot down? You know, was I able to brainstorm for 10 minutes? Um, it, these things are hard to uh, quantify and they shouldn't always be quantified. So I really welcome your thoughts um, and reactions to to maybe that that frame of mind. Yeah, I really want to build on that a little bit because um, this is my hobby. When I go to work, I have to look after people and do a whole lot of other things. I, I'm a coach, so I'm always looking after people. This is what I do for fun. And so the creative outlet is really important to me. So if during the process, I have cool conversations with my friends about what I want to create, if I get to contribute positively to a group if i get to feel enriched it's worth doing and part of that involves contributing so that involves creating things but the point is to fulfill you and if you are being fulfilled just by doing 10 minutes of brainstorming and writing down on a piece of paper some crazy ideas you've had then that's worth doing if part of your fulfillment involves wanting to complete projects and not really being able to and needing help well, that's what this is for. And like, it's about figuring out what you want and then doing it. And what I think we are both really interested in doing is helping people achieve what they want, which probably is like, so professional authors, if they get three or four hours writing done in a day, they're ecstatic. And we're amateurs with jobs and lives. And if we can get a little bit done and feel fulfilled by it, that's all that you should really hope for. I think. That's a little bit right. Um, no, very I much. I, I I completely agree, and you know, it it makes it difficult to, because Nano Remo Cthulhu Edition, you know, it, it's it's something that we've made up. Um, mm. it, it it can be challenging to apply the paradigms that work in the Nano Remo, uh, context where it's like write fifty thousand words, right? Like we just don't don't have that. Um, and I think you and I, uh, and I think we're seeing this on the Discord forum as well. Um, you know, folks are trying to figure out like what what's good advice. Um, yeah. and it turns out that um, there's a lot of good advice. Most of it is wrong, and and it's yeah. not wrong because it's it's objectively wrong. It's it's wrong because you need to find which of that advice is right for you, and it's a very personalized experience and very challenging. Um, to figure out what works for you and to, you know, look at people you trust who are like, oh, well, this is what I do and this works for me and go, that's awesome. That doesn't work for me, right? And so I think we're hearing those perspectives. And so if we maybe sum up, if you're feeling bad because you haven't gotten a good start, throw that emotion out of the way. And instead, what you should realize is maybe your goal was unrealistic to your life. The point of this is to help you do stuff you want to do. And if it didn't work and you're feeling anxious, we've we've not done it right. Let's reset. Let's try again. Let's make you feel good. Let's make you feel safe. And let's help you create something. Yeah, well said. Brilliant. All right. So we're going to wrap up there. We're going to try and get one small video out every week to help people move forward. And we're hopefully going to get turnaround today. So hopefully you'll be seeing this on the 4th of November. And I'll see you, Henry, next week. Absolutely.